would have been in first place. Next, we have Rex Lamb, uh, the second competitor uh, from Canada. He was the uh, Canadian national uh, champion in the uh, men's division uh, for this event. I believe this is his second world championships. His first difficulty component, a 540 degree outside jump kick, followed by a front jump kick, aerial into a 360 degree inside jump kick, right into a 360 degree outside jump kick. So very clean start to his routine. That should help him out at the end of the day. And this is uh, where when you look at um, a, a lot of the choreography in uh, sections two and three for athletes, it really gives them the ability to show off or uh, demonstrate uh, their uniqueness and um, their uh, creativity in uh, designing a uh, routine. There he had an additional outside 360 degree uh, jump kick into a bow stance landing. And I believe, uh, Anthony, correct me if I'm wrong, is an athlete is able to repeat a difficulty more than once, uh, but that's where you're looking at the transition movement or the landing has to vary and it cannot be exactly the same as the previous. That's correct. An athlete is um, able to, allow to use up to two of the same degree of difficulty movements, but they have to have different transition. Okay. So you'll see some athletes doing a jump inside kick with uh, splits or a or jump a inside kick with a horse stance, stance that's right split. correct so inside kick uh, like what we saw there is um much like many people also call a crescent kick uh, inside crescent kick uh where the foot goes inward and then uh we have the outside jump kick which is where the foot goes outwards very good score for rex lamb it's 9.313 which uh puts him in the top five he was uh, deducted with a code 51, which is for the horse stance.